we are uh, very much, I think, satisfied by uh, Biden's visit. Uh, the extensive talks that he had with our leaders, political leaders, and uh, our president uh, was, uh, I think, very substan substantive. And uh, his, uh, uh, I think, his comments and his remarks, uh, especially uh, in the meetings about Iraq, especially this is one of our most important concerns, uh, because right next door, and we have it has a terrorism dimension uh, that all also satisfied us, uh, and uh, uh, he assured us that uh, Iraq will remain. Uh, its uh, relative stability uh, uh, intact uh, even after the United States uh, leaves that country by the end of this year. So uh, I can tell you again, uh, we are uh, very happy with the uh, state of affairs between the two countries, Turkey and the United States. We do have concerns. Um, we know that it's uh, uh, not always uh, uh, deal, uh, possible to deal with the uh, current situation through words. Uh, so we have, we have such concerns, uh, some concerns. Um, but there is no other alternative for the two countries as allies and as the primary uh, actors uh, of that region uh, presently, I think uh, not to work together closely to tackle and deal with those uh, uh, daunting uh, challenges. Do you wish that Baghdad and Washington had been able to strike an agreement to allow for a continuing U.S. presence in Iraq beyond the end of this month? Uh, that's what the Vice President told us. He assured us that there is going to be such an arrangement. Did he say how many troops it might no. entail? No. <laughs> no is that part of the reason he's sort of saying it's going to stay stable? I, I don't know, but uh, that's what he said. He said we will uh, will have the necessary arrangements uh, uh, to assure uh, or to ensure uh, the relative peace and stability to, to go on.